I come from one of the most vicious clubs in the world where it comes to like a few, Millwall. You know, the, the, it, in, the, in the era that I was there, that, they're lovely people, but they, they die for the club. There, uh, there are clubs all over the country that would die for their club. But I tell you what, if I saw a game and I, I would want Arsenal to win, I'd want Chelsea to win if they were playing in Europe. That's just where I come from. That's only my opinion, you know. So I'm not, I'm not saying everybody's got to think that and, oh, we'd hate, we'd, we wouldn't want Liverpool to do that. I wouldn't say that at all. But I, I, I certainly, I can certainly see where English football is going to be going. And, the, and the English football clubs are, are going to take it because they're getting more powerful. And I think this this virus has really, really opened the door up for people to see that because we didn't know which clubs owed money. We didn't know which clubs went into debt. We didn't know which clubs were going to pack up, John. But this this virus has opened the doors up that they've had to come out and say, we can't function anymore. You've taken away our livelihood, You've, uh, or our livelihood are our supporters, are our fans, and they're not there now. They can't be allowed in. How are we going to get finances? You know, if we pay, and, and the only other day they said, if we pay, play one game, we have to play, we have to pay our players all season if, we, if they play just one game. John, that's, that's, that's suicide. Yeah, the reason that the football clubs are losing this money is because we're not getting fans into the stadium. So that's kind of the key thing, isn't it, really? Because mm -hmm. once we get fans coming back into the stadium, hopefully money will start coming back into the game. Yes. But even if you look at the Premier League, I think they're projected that the Premier League, just the Premier League, will lose a billion pounds. And lost supporters, yes. Which is and probably that's... another reason I'm looking at the pay-per-view because it's a way of getting some revenue in. So... It makes sense in a way that they're doing the pay-per-view to try and get some extra money in. But I think it's sad because I think they could have let fans back into the stadium and that's what a lot of football clubs feel hard done by, really, because they've made a lot of efforts to try and get the stadiums yes. in a situation where they can let fans in. But by having the doors basically shut firm, it's kind of well, one, it's pushed a lot of clubs into the brink. And also, John, is, is that... To get to let a thousand fans back in would cost the mark, the club more money on security and everything else than they would make. So it's got to be worked out where a club would make money, and and say, well, okay, fine. Um, Germany are a gold star in it. We've seen that they they've actually got people back in. They've got it. So why don't why can't we follow something like that and 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 do that because. I just scratched my head with saying that we've got common sense. We 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 should be able to let the supporters come back in, but not that it costs the club money, but the, the club can actually make money. You know, what is the what is the size of the crowd that would be able to like make a club make some money? I was at Northwich when there, there was no money. I was at Chester. When I could give you, I tell you what, it was heartbreaking for me. I had to use the youth team money to pay for the first team wages to play on a Saturday at Chester City. No, nobody knows exactly what you actually go through, you know. And I went through it as a, like a two-year apprenticeship of being a common manager with no money, no nothing being able to get people, uh, the council coming in and, and finding out if your desk is worth more so they could reclaim some of the money. I, pay in, I, I, was paying I was paying the electrical bill at Chester with cash, and that was the receipts from the programme money on a Saturday, and, play, and paying, pay, uh, paying you know, wages to players when their cheques bounced, and paying them on a Saturday before to get a result and to go out and ask your team to perform. Chester's a great little club, always has been, but you can only do so much with it. So I do agree with you on, yes, I think there should be a lot more. I think the Premiership should have looked after the smaller clubs better than what they have and stop being greedy.
I know this has been talked about. It's been on the drawing board. There is a Super League around the corner. And whether the supporters like it or whether they don't, it is on the horizon. It is coming and it's, and it's not a long way away. They've already got the Champions League, so it's just to carry on from that, but with 38 games. But United wouldn't play in, United wouldn't play in the EPL. They'd be playing in the Super League, in the European Super League. Yeah.